Hey everybody, lots to talk about in terms of global and national politics and whatnot, but also right here in Rhode Island, plenty going on. And when I woke up this morning, the first thing I thought to myself was, mm, what a beautiful day to drive up to the state house and check out this pro vape rally. Now these were people that were concerned that Governor Raimondo was going to sign an executive order banning the retailing of all vape products here in Rhode Island. Similarly, Charlie Baker, her counterpart in Massachusetts, signed such an executive order yesterday. And essentially, vapes are now, quote unquote, illegal in Massachusetts. There was concern that that would happen today in Rhode Island. What in fact happened was, in these last hours, the governor signed an executive order banishing the sale of all flavored vape products. So now, for all of you banana jewel lovers out there, you're out of luck. You're going to have to drive to Connecticut to get your fix. But it looks like vapes in general still on the market. I'm not sure what this does to address any of the major public health concerns surrounding vapes that have come up in uh, in the last month or so, and potentially longer, you know, at least the data being tracked in these last months. And of course, the other big story here, the press conference held at the State House this afternoon announcing, I've got their website pulled up here, the Rhode Island Political Cooperative. Now, this is tied into, um, I guess it's, it's organized, at least co-chaired by Matt Brown. You probably remember him from, uh, well, he was the Secretary of State in Rhode Island, back in the day, and he, uh, he ran for Senate. Uh, then he kind of disappeared for about a decade, and he came back last year. Um, and Well, he didn't come back last year, but he came back for last year's election decision 2018 and challenged Gina Raimondo in a Democratic primary along with Spencer Dickinson from the left. Now, he came at, at this as sort of an environmentalist progressive, um, but he wasn't fully linked in with, for example, the Aaron Regenberg campaign, challenging Lieutenant Governor Dan McKee, also from the left on a, a progressive platform. So Matt Brown, he kind of existed in his own space, so to speak, and at least in terms of my assessment of uh, the 2018 gubernatorial primaries here in Rhode Island. But now he resurfaces. He's invited uh, members of the community to a party, an announced party. I think it's next week. I got the invitation. Uh, Maybe he's going to run for Senate challenge Jack Reed, Senator Reed from the left. In any case, today, the Rhode Island Political Cooperative. Now, here I am on their website. We can have a, pe we can have a Rhode Island for the people. That's their statement. And the Rhode Island Political Cooperative is, a, is building a statewide grassroots movement to elect a government in 2020 that will work for the people of our state, not for corporations or the connected. So the idea here looks to me like what they're trying to do is get they got a bunch of, you know, a bunch of familiar faces here. You know, Jonathan Acosta, the you know, Senate District 16. Okay, you got Mel DuPont, Janine Calkin. So some familiar faces with, you know, really, I guess what, what you would categorize as progressive or in my mind, uh, in many cases, just, um, you know, authentic uh, representation of their communities. And uh, so that's an interesting thing. So the idea here obviously would be to fill the chambers of, uh, of, of the, the bicameral chambers uh, up on Smith Hill and try to take out the Speaker of the House and the Senate President by overwhelming the body with members of the Rhode Island political co-op. Political co so we'll have guests on all of these topics, the vape, uh, and of course we'll, we'll, we'll check in on the Rhode Island, Rhode Island, hold, can't even say their name, it's so, it's so new, the Rhode Island political co-op. We'll have, uh, we'll have more on each of those. And of course, new episodes of the Bartholomew Town Podcast every Tuesday and Friday on your preferred podcast app, ripodcast.com, bartholomewtown.com. And hey, go ahead and subscribe, rate, and review if you feel like it. We'll talk soon.